before we talk about Habib, we have to talk about his beef with Conor McGregor, which resulted in the suspension, the melee after the fight. They continue to go at each other. In the world of MMA, how much of this should we take as posturing and how much of it is real animosity? Oh, it's 100% real. I would argue that this is the most bitter feud, if you will, the most bitter rivalry in the history of the sport. It has gotten very personal. You know, Connor landed in jail not that long ago for attacking the bus that Khabib was on. We, we know the story. We know about the suspensions. We know about all of that. Uh, they do not like each other. And uh, lines have been crossed. Things have been said that I don't think reflect very well on both of the fighters and the sport in general. You're seeing the scene here it was a very ugly one last October in Las Vegas. So they hate each other, um, quite mm. frankly. And there's no love lost there between them. And I think that if Khabib wins on September 7th and if Connor's hand heals, he's actually in a cast right now. He recently broke his left hand. I wouldn't be surprised, as Dana alluded to, uh, that they'll try to make that fight. This time next year, I have a feeling they will have fought again. And I know a lot of hardcore fans will say Connor doesn't deserve it, but he is the biggest draw in the history of the sport. He makes a lot of money. He makes them a lot of money. And whenever Connor fights, it's big business for the UFC. And so the rules are a little bit different for him. It's not exactly conventional rankings if you, if, if you want to consider like meritocracy. That doesn't apply to <laughs> Conor McGregor. So he, he, he heals up. Khabib wins that fight. I wouldn't be surprised if they start talking about another fight. It's interesting as well, Ariel. As you say, what happened doesn't reflect well on the sport, but it might be very lucrative for the sport at the same time. Absolutely. I mean, each and every time Conor has gotten himself in trouble, he has become more popular, more famous. And, and let's be honest, what happened in October made Khabib more famous, made him more popular, made him a lot more money because he was the one that shut up Conor McGregor. A lot of his fans don't like Conor McGregor. Not only did he shut him up, not only did he tap him out, then he jumped into the crowd to defend his family's honor, to defend his people's honor. So. Everyone, including the UFC, has made a lot of money off of this feud. And so when I say, you know, for people like me, the purists and all that, you know, we don't like these sorts of things. I'd rather talk to you about other things. Uh, I, ha I hate these scenes here. I hate the fact that Rose Namajunas was scarred by this. I hate the fact that Michael Chiesa was scarred by this. I hate that. But, I mean, this is the fight game. And in many respects, the fight game is a circus. And, and people like that sort of thing. And they expect that sort of thing from the circus. And so everyone, has, forget what anyone has told you about it being embarrassing. What I say is different than what the promoters and fighters say they make a lot of money off of this and I guess you know I sit here and talk about it.